This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash science for a free trial membership. Mm -hmm. I recently got an email from Jimmy H. out of Lincoln, Nebraska, and he asked the following question. <clears throat> Dear Dylan, for weeks and months I have pined over your delicious and intriguing videos. However, I think I can one-up you. You have never done a video on a hero machine. In fact, I don't think you even know what a hero machine is, do you? <laughs> Jimmy H. Lincoln, Nebraska. Well, Jimmy, while I appreciate your email, you're wrong. Now, our good friend Jimmy from the email got the name of this project wrong. It's actually called Hero's Engine, not Hero's Machine. But that's okay. We can move along anyways. To kick this off, all we need is a nail and a soda can. Put two holes on the can. They both need to be facing opposite directions, so try and put them at an angle. This way, once we generate steam from the can itself, the can will start spinning ridiculously fast. Now you may notice I put tape around this. You don't need to do that. I am only blocking out logos. Once you have the holes done, take some fishing line or string, whatever you have that will support a can that's full of soda, and then tie it around the tap, which you need to bend up. Here we go, it's hanging nice and free. Now the next step is going to involve a little bit of fire. All we need to do is take sort of a ceramic bowl or something that can support fire and then pour some alcohol in it. I'm using 75% alcohol. I will drop a match in. As you can see, it burns up and nice. Now this part's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a little less if you're closer to the fire, but after a while, steam's going to start shooting out of the holes that you pierced in the can itself. Now by putting the two holes in the soda can and then adding fire to it so that steam will shoot out, we're essentially demonstrating the third law of motion. Basically, we're creating an action force that's accomplished by an equal reaction of force in the opposite direction. This means we're going to get some spinning action very soon. Now, as you can see, this is going to get a bit messy. Now, I luckily had some plexiglass laying around that I put in front of the camera. I don't want to ruin that. So if you are going to attempt this yourself, make sure you do it outside or in a room that you don't care if it gets covered with soda. Once this thing starts spinning, it's going to get a little bit crazy. And, like I said, messy. After a few minutes, the can will start spinning very fast. And if you keep it on there, it's going to get even faster. Congratulations, you've just created one of the simplest engines known to man. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Scientific Tuesdays. We'll see you next week. But before we get to next week, I want to thank our sponsor, Gamefly. Gamefly is the biggest video game rental subscription service, and they offer over 7,000 titles across all consoles and handhelds. Plans start at $15.95 a month, and you can rent anywhere from one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as you want. Once you're done playing the game, you can simply send it back to Gamefly, and they'll send you the next one in your queue. You can even buy a game if you want at a discounted price. Scientific Tuesdays fans are awesome, and Gamefly realizes this as well. That's why you can head over to Gamefly.com science and get a free 15-day trial membership. That way you can check it out and see if it's for you. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We'll see you next time.